Oh yeah, chillin' with Cav. Hey everybody, hope everybody had a good Christmas and a great New Year's. I just wanted to give a quick update to my adventure of growing mushrooms. So uh, a few months back, I stumbled upon some uh, oyster mushrooms while going on a hike at Chickawa State Park here in Louisiana. And that kind of spiked my curiosity on mushrooms or different types of mushrooms. What I did not realize was all the mushrooms that you buy in a grocery store are essentially the same mushroom, the white button mushrooms and the uh, portobello mushrooms, the porcini mushrooms, all that is the same mushroom just picked at a different growth stage. So what, what interests me was all the other types of mushrooms out there that you can't find in a grocery store. You have to get them from a farmer's market or somebody that grows them. So I started doing some research and I figured out a way that um, you could you could basically grow them at home. Now they sell these kits on Amazon for $35, but I wanted something that I could uh, replicate and do myself without having to spend 35 bucks every time I wanted uh, half a pound of mushrooms. I'm not even sure if you could get that much from one of these little grow kits. So here's a little overview of what I've come up with and how I'm kind of doing um, my little grow, a uh, mushroom growing at home. Uh, if it turns out to produce more mushrooms than I can eat, then I'll probably just sell them to friends and family. So bear with me while I go through some of these uh, procedures. Okay, so in the jars in front of you contains uh, basically water, currants, corn syrup, and some peptone. Uh, the water is 4% sugar, so my mixture is 3 cups of water, 2 tablespoons of corn syrup, and 1 gram of peptone. What I did was I made these jars with, uh, I have a couple different variations. I need to drill a hole in this so it would vent, but since it's full of my uh, lion's mane mycelium, I don't want to mess with this right now. This is basically pillow stuffing. With, I drilled a hole in here, put a uh, self-healing injection port, fill the jar with your liquid culture mix, put it in a pressure cooker. In my case, it was an Instapot with some water, and I cooked this for about 45 minutes to sterilize everything. Once this jar cools down, I purchased a syringe of mycelium off of Amazon. One I got for lion's mane, one for pink oyster mushrooms, and then in this one it is a blue oyster mushroom. And all I did was squirt a little bit of uh, mycelium in here. And after a while it grows, but in the bottom here I have a... a stir bar a magnetic stir bar this pink oyster mushroom i think i put two cc's of mycelium in there about three days ago and i'm gonna stir it up and see if you can get an idea so that's that's growing pretty quickly for two cc's of uh or i say cc's two milliliters of mycelium out of a syringe so it'll grow in there and what i'll do is i'll let that grow so i won't have to buy these syringes anymore for 15 dollars off of amazon take a look at this lion's mane <clears throat> it's been in there for a while and it is full of lion's mane mycelium so once you have your liquid culture uh, built up and established then you can start making what they call grain spawn and i'll show you that in just a second so in here I have some rye grain that has been soaking in some water overnight just to hydrate these grains. And the process, and here's some other jars that I'm working on. This is a, a better filter system than this pillow stuffing. So I started using these and I'll be filling this up with, uh, with more liquid culture for different strains of mushrooms. So on the grain spawn, what you do is you soak these uh, grains in water overnight. And then once you soak these, I'll put these in the pressure cooker uh, for probably two hours, basically to sterilize everything in here. 
and then once they cool down I'll just go through the bag with a syringe and some liquid culture and squirt uh, five milliliters of mycelium down in this bag and the mycelium will start to grow on these grains and after uh, 10 days or so you'll start to see the mycelium grow throughout these grains and once it is completely grown throughout the grains you can then transfer these grains into your substrate which is basically a mix of uh, oak sawdust and soy hull pellets in a 50 50 ratio i'll show you what that looks like in just a second so here is a bag of grain that i've injected with some pink oyster mycelium and it might be hard to see but right can get the light right there in the in the middle here you can see some growth happening so that white fluffy growth will continue to propagate throughout these grains and once these grains are fully populated I can transfer this to the substrate mixture and my dog is getting into his toys over here um, I can transfer these grains into the substrate and then it will start growing throughout the substrate and I'll show my little setup over here <clears throat> so pe some people call this a Martha tent because I guess it's I don't know Martha Stewart maybe um, I've got this humidifier that's on a a little controller down here and it keeps uh, the humidity inside this tent between 85 and 90 percent humidity uh, this was this is an old lion's mane block which uh, I've got one little fruit on here I've got two flushes off of this and it's probably done but <clears throat> down here are some bags that contain the sawdust and the grain spawn as you can see all the white mycelium that's growing throughout these these bags is starting to propagate um, and consuming see up at the top there's a line it's steadily growing up around until it completely fills that that whole bag with mycelium and then what you do is you cut and it looks like I'm starting to get a little fruit right here my light is not too bright let me see starting to, to fruit a lion's mane mushroom right here and all I did was cut three little slices into the bag. I got one slice up here, one here, and one here. And basically the mushroom will detect the humidity and the fresh air where the slice is in the bag and it will start to grow out of that bag. So the plan that I have is I'm going to produce, um, right now I've got four of these blocks of lion's mane and I'm going to start, um, uh, you know, maybe every, every week or every other week, I'm going to make four blocks of mushrooms, either pink oyster mushrooms or blue oyster mushrooms or lion's mane. And I'm going to throw them in here. Uh, these are still populating or growing mycelium. And once they start turning more white and it's consumed more of the sawdust, I will fold the bag upside down like that and get all the air out and cut cut some slices in the bag so it can start producing mushrooms. Uh, the little tent here was, I believe, $35. Um, <clears throat> that uh, humidifier, which is, is pumping out right now, that was, um, I think, $25, $30. Bucks. So <clears throat> growing fresh mushrooms that you can't get in a store, it's pretty easy. Uh, you, do have to, you do have to sterilize stuff. So a, a pressure cooker or an Instapot is a must have. Um, and some 70% isopropyl alcohol is needed to... Um, oh, and look, this one is, this one's leaking some of the, the mushroom juice. So mycelium as it, as it, uh, 
uh, breaks down the lignin in the wood, it could secrete this this juice here. I've heard it called different kinds of names, but apparently I've got a leak since it's dripping. Um, so the whole setup uh, is relatively easy. Uh, you do have to do a little bit of research and uh, understand the process of keeping everything as clean as possible so you don't introduce mold into these bags because the conditions are very favorable for growing mold. So you have to keep everything sterile and uh, so your mushrooms, mycelium will grow and produce mushrooms instead of just some random mold in the bag. But it's pretty fun uh, tasting different mushrooms. These, these are lion's mane. It tastes uncanny like crab meat or lobster. It has that texture of crab or lobster. The pink oyster mushroom takes, tastes a lot like uh, bacon or ham. And the blue oyster mushroom is more like your traditional mushroom that you buy in the store with some added health benefits. So this is my little setup here. Uh, it's been a, a, a fun little hobby to do, try out different uh, mushrooms. The, the lion's mane mushroom is pretty interesting because of the, the uh, chemical that's in lion's mane can rebuild your uh, neuro pathways in the brain. Uh, pretty interesting research that was done with some mice and uh, dementia. But there it is. Thought I'd give everybody an update. A lot of interest was around this. I'm just a hobby grower at home just to see if I could do it. And I'm going to continue to grow some mushrooms since everybody's so interested in the family about these types of mushrooms. So there you go, guys. A little update on my little mushroom growing endeavor that I have uh, started. Uh, if you got any questions, leave me a comment. I'll be willing to post any more videos or how to's, how I do everything, if you got any questions. But there's a lot of information already out there. Um, if you want to give it a try, buy a syringe off of Amazon, inoculate some grain, and then put that grain in some uh, sawdust. That's pretty much all there is to it. Till next time, take care.